So if you're talking bug bounty hunting or pen testing and someone starts to talk to you about recon and they talk to you about the cloud, the first thing that usually comes up is S3 buckets, right? Someone might mention Grey Hat Warfare or they might mention in various variety of Amazon search tools that don't really go into a lot of debt. You might get told about Scout 2, which is really not intended for external recon. Cloud Enum doesn't come into the conversation enough. And the reason I love it so much is that it has taken this holistic view of the, crowd, of the cloud. It's looking at Azure, it's looking at GCP, it's looking at Amazon, it's looking at permutations of what you pass it. You can go, hey, I'm searching for bug crowd, and you'll look for Azure storage accounts. It'll look for S3 buckets still, and it'll go to that extra step of checking for vulnerability. It'll look for Firebase elements. It'll look into GCP. It does this amazing depth of recon, and it's worth having in your toolkit. And... I really think it's important these days to talk about it because Amazon are doing a really good job of helping customers to be secured with S3 buckets. There's still going to be vulnerable buckets to find and help protect companies against, but it's a shrinking bug class with very good reason. There's a very good security team there doing good work, and you should, in your recon, always aim for maximum understanding of the attack surface that you've got. A lot of these other elements may not lead to impact, but they'll lead to better understanding of what you're approaching. So don't have a full demo for this one because, you know, for the most part, the tool explains itself. You pass keywords to this tool. So you go cloud enum and then you say keyword for the program name. But you have to remember, you've got to be a little specific. And there's two ways that you can get most advantage out of this tool. Firstly, think of what you're testing. If you're testing Apple, you're going to get a lot of false positives. You need to go into your recon for Apple, look at internal taxonomy, and consider, you know, maybe they might use something in the Apple ecosystem that is going to allow you to get to specific assets when you're searching. So it could be Apple, you know, US East 01 they use in every region, and then a denominator at the end of it. You can put that into your mutations on Cloud Enum and generate custom mutations for what you're searching to give you benefit over others that aren't as familiar with that program as you are. Likewise, you can look at the DNS Grep project, which is a project I made for creating wordless permutations for subdomain discovery, for new ideas for creating a better mutations list for this project, and starting to dig into, you know, what kind of benefits can I add to the keywords that I'm passing? Don't just pass something generic. Try and look at how you can enhance that with something more substantial that's unique thought from your own research. So that's Cloud Enum. I understand it's a bit of a quicker guide through. It's hard when there's a simpler tool that is fairly intuitive to use to do a deep dive, but I hope you dig into the project and you get some value. Um, please give Initstring a follow. And if you have any ideas for Cloud Enum, please contribute it to the project. It's, this is a bit of a trend lately of new tools spinning off instead of contributing back to existing ones. This is one I think Initstring is passionate about, wants to build further on. And the more support for this project, the more I think that's going to be a great thing. But in closing, you know, likewise for myself, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been sharing and uh, commenting on this content. I've had some really nice messages this week and um, I'm pretty passionate about content this year. I really want to grow in it and just having that kind of thing does help. It's, uh, it's very easy in this industry to second guess everything that you do and doing content is a scary thing because of that. And just having some sort of validation that I feel I'm providing value has helped. And so thank you to those you know who you are. I, I really appreciate it.